March saw our boy from Brazil clutch his crumbling angle anew and win none of his final eight bouts. The first time that had happened in a tournament Kaisei had finished. Having left Division 1 in January, he now looks set to leave Division 2. More so after a torrid opening week in May. A firm favoured outside left may have brought the perfect start. <laughs> but his flaws were soon exposed. Incapacity to turn being one. Inability to land on that ankle another. Fierce Hiraomi almost won from the front. then was sure he couldn't be followed sideways. While timely release of inner left gained Tokushoryu a thrust down angle. And when the ankle just buckled against struggling Takakento, Kaisei stared glumly at a new career low. 13 defeats from 14. Salvation briefly came in the form of an injured Daisho Maru spinning himself to disaster. But a well lodged right from Atami Fuji. <laughs> and a double inside grip from Akua brought losses six and seven, and a real prospect of unsalaried hell for the first time since 2010. Could Kaisei's career somehow be saved? Incredibly, yes. Hobbling Shohozan was unable to resist even unconvincing attacks.
This potential winner of a frontal right was doggedly blocked, and its deployer marched to the rope with tight outside grip. And injured Chionokuni, unable to advance, simply stretched arms in hope and left chest exposed for a fatal blow. With several beneath him in trouble, this third straight win was sure to keep Kaisei up. Perhaps a surge in relief caused his focus to dip, leaving him ripe for parrying on day 13. But a firm defense, then nifty switch to right knee first, brought win number six and breathing space for July. The same ploy was then tried on Mitoryu in the finale. Knock away with the left and dive in low. The Mongolian, however, had right defense ready to steer him into the winning outside left. For now, Kaisei survives, salary and all. But he'll fall three more rungs in Monday's chart and continue to live on the brink. We wish him well in the summer heat.